John of God was born in Portugal in 1495. He started off as a soldier and later became a medical worker in Spain. His followers founded a medical organization called the Brothers Hospitallers of St. John of God in 1572, and they carry out his work to this day. This saint was canonized by the Catholic Church as the patron saint of heart diseases. Working as a soldier until age 40, John later became a shepherd. With time to himself to think, he realized he was a great sinner and decided to amend his life. At first, he was going to go help Christians in Muslim countries, but was convinced not to do that after hearing a great speech by St. John of Avila. John of God had great zeal for proclaiming God's message, but he was somewhat out of control and ended up in a mental asylum. While in the asylum, he was visited by John of Avila, another saint, who counseled him to control himself and start a hospital, which he did, once again with great energy. John of God was known for his humility and dedication to the sick. One particular source has an amazing story of John's humility. Here's one quote I found particularly moving. In the beginning, John went begging for money to support these poor, but soon people gave him alms, food, and supplies, and they were so impressed with his charity. Once, when a fire broke out in the house, John ran back into the building countless times, carrying the sick out on his back. Unemployed men came to the door, and he found them work. When the archbishop called John to his office because people complained that John kept tramps and immoral women in his hospital, he was silenced by John's humility. John fell to his knees, saying, I know of no bad person in my hospital except myself who am unworthy to eat the bread of the poor. Another bishop who invited John to supper was so impressed by his humility that he actually gave John his name, John of God. If you know somebody, a family member, a friend, somebody you work with, who has heart trouble, who has heart problems, say a prayer today and ask John of God for his intercession. He's become a very popular spirit saint uh, especially in Portugal and 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 I think that you know it's a good idea to pray to him and remember when we're praying to a saint we're asking the saint to say prayers to God along with us along with our family and friends we're not asking for a special magical powers or something so do that today and write about it in the comments if you want thank you and God bless